Okay, so in this video, we will take a look at how to create a simple part and then modify its dimensions uh, using the Smart Dimensions option. So let's go ahead and get started with the new part file uh, in the SolidWorks. And let us say we want to create a part file uh, starting off uh, from the top lane. So I'm going to click on the top lane and I can see the four options here, the sketch, show, zoom to selection and the normal to option. So you can either start from the top lane and then click on the sketch view. And then you can uh, start selecting this, some of the sketch entities that you can see here. So you have the line option. If you click on the drop down arrow, you can see the uh, further options expanded as line, center line, midpoint line. You have the rectangles with different options. So let's say I choose the uh, center rectangle options instead of the corner rectangle options. The most important thing when you start creating a SOLIDWORKS part file is that you have to have some relationship of it with the origin in order to make it fully defined. All right, so if I start off with the center rectangle and if I start off from the uh, origin, once I click and drag and release the mouse, I can then go to the smart dimension, click a particular line, and let's say I choose the uh, 100 millimeters length, and let's say 50 millimeters width. So you can notice now, once you assign the dimensions, um, is that all the edges of this rectangle are fully defined and they turn black in color. Before assigning the dimension, if I click on one of these dimensions and delete it, you can notice that there are only two lines which are shown in the dark color and the other two lines are in the blue color, which means that they are not constrained, they are not fixed. So for example, if I click and hold this vertex, I can only move it in the up and down direction. I cannot really move this rectangle sideways okay because the 100 millimeters length is what's constraining the length so it's not exceeding that 100 millimeters so you can only move it up or down okay if i didn't use this 100 millimeters dimension and if i were to click and hold this arrow then i could expand or reduce however i want uh, because i don't have any restricting dimensions to it okay um, i cannot however select the origin and drag it all around the origin is always fixed and since i created the rectangle with respect to the origin uh, the rectangle is fixed with respect to the origin if i had created a rectangle somewhere else other than the origin and if i hit escape after creating it and now if i click and drag uh, the center of the rectangle then i can move it uh, wherever i want on this graphics area also, I can change its dimensions wherever I want because it's not restricted at all and everything shows in the uh, blue color. Okay, so I'm going to delete this uh, rectangle by just simply clicking and deleting it. And again, one more time, I will go to the smart dimension, click the dimension here. Let me make it 100. Click here, let me make it 50. And let's say I want a circle also to be created here. So I can click on the circle option. And let's say I want to create the circle at the center. So I can start creating the circle from the center itself. But if I just create it somewhere and click OK, then I can move this circle, you know, all around where I want it. And so let's say I leave it here. Again, then we can we have to provide three dimensions for this circle to be fully constrained. So go to smart dimension. Uh, let's first click on the circle. And let us say I want this to be 25 millimeters diameter. And from the center of the circle to the horizontal line on the top, let's say I make it at 25. And from the center of the circle to the vertical line, and if I make that as 50, 
Now you can notice that as soon as I create all these dimensions, now the circle is completely fixed to that place and it cannot be moved. And that is how it is shown in all the dark colors. This is called as the sketch being completely defined. And once you see that all these sketch lines that you created are, are dark in color, that is the time when you know the sketch is fully defined. And so now you are ready to extrude it. So if I go to features, extrude it, I can extrude it in the linear direction and let us say I use the 10 millimeters by default as the depth or I can even change that to whatever the depth that I want. Let's keep it at 10 and if I click OK, that is how we can create the uh, solid model with the hole in it. Okay, so obviously when we extrude it, uh, it will always create uh, the part file uh, with the closed area. Once the part is created, we want to modify some of the dimensions of this part. So I can expand the boss extrude, which is a feature. So we have added the sketch. First, we have created the sketch with the rectangle and the circle, and then we added the feature of the extruded boss slash base. And so the SOLIDWORKS is a, a feature-based uh, modeling system. So if we expand this boss extrude and look at the sketch, it will show us uh, what dimensions that we have created in that sketch. Okay, so I can right click on this boss extrude and I will see the first option that says edit feature. So if you wanna edit feature, then it's gonna change the dimension of the depth only. So if you click on edit feature, it will bring us back to the same screen when we added the boss extrude depth, which was 10 millimeters. So let's say we change it to 20 millimeters. We click on the check mark. And so now our depth is now increased from 10 to 20 millimeters. If we right click on the boss extrude and go to edit sketch, then we can change uh, some of the sketching dimensions. So instead of, uh, let us say 100, I want to change that uh, 100 to let's say 120 and now you can notice the center of the circle is no longer at the uh, center of the uh, rectangle but it is shifted because of this 50 so let's say we want to change this to 60 also instead of this 50 let's say I say I change that to 80 and so instead of this 25, I change that to 40 to put the circle back again in the center. Once we've done modifying all these sketch dimensions as we wanted, we can exit out of the sketching mode by clicking on this uh, icon on the top right corner to exit out of the sketching tab. And once we do that, then our drawing is modified. The part is modified based on these sketches. Uh, and so that is how we can modify the part file using these two options by right clicking on boss extrude, edit feature or edit sketch. We can go to the evaluate tab and then click on measure. And once we are on the measure tab, then if we want to check, it will show us the length of this uh, age is 120 millimeters. Click somewhere on the graphics area again click on the width which shows now 80 millimeters again click somewhere on the graphics area this time i'm going to click on the circular edge it says the diameter is 25 millimeters so you can always verify the dimensions of your part feature by going to the evaluate tab and then clicking on the measure option i'm going to close this and that is how we can uh, create the part and modify its dimensions